Hello guys, this is Penny and I'm a hygienist in Florida and today I'm going to review the course I take for my local anesthesia injection uh, which I do at Palm Beach State College in Florida. So mainly I'm gonna review of how much I pay for it, uh, how is the process to get there to you know be get a train. Let's get started. Here's some benefits I think you can get from this course. First, once you get all the training done, you can help your patient that they can have more comfortable experience at the clinic, save your chair time, you don't have to wake your doctors. You can also help your doctor out when they need some injection in some area. And you know what? It's easy your work. So once you decided to take a course, let's say anywhere in Florida, you might not be from this part, um, what you have to reconsider again might be the time the timeline some course is different some course you have to be there in the clinic some course you can prepare yourself online first so with uh the course i take here the process mainly gonna be like you have to go to sign up for the course um you pay for the first part which is the online classes there are total 12 models and you have to patch each like quiz and exam at the end of each model. There are total 12 models. Once you pass all 12 models with the 75% or more, then you can go to final exam. And again, you have to pass for 75%. You have to pass for 75%. Once you pass all that, then you're eligible to register for this part B. And part B will lead you to, you know, the live on session class and you get to, you know, switch injection with your friends who you're gonna, you know, your teammate, your classmate at that day. So I make a list right here for you. So here is the process. First, sign up for Even Bright for the part A. Part A is a study online on your pace. You have to pass all the exam at 75%. Total have 12 modules and then you can do the final exam. Once you pass all the final exam, you register for the part B and you need to send your CPR for that. And then you come for the class B live session. So when you sign up for the class A, there have a lot to study in there. The good thing is uh, when you register, they will give you two, two dates that you can register for part B. People who think you need more time to study, you're busy with your life, you can like I register for the February uh, courses. I register for the beginning of February and I take the class, the class, the part B at the end of February. Some people that doesn't have much time to study, they can decide to do the one in May or June as well. Um, so, you know, that's a good thing. You can study on your pace and all the exam, you can have one more time doing it. Let's say if you take the first model and you didn't pass, you can retaking it again and you know, you just need 75% to pass. And I knew this with my friend that all the models, somehow you can see which, which answer you got it wrong so you can make it right. I just know that I didn't know how but I'm pretty sure once you register everything you can you know ask our teachers about that because that's what my friends told me so don't be stressed out and you know keep on your pace once you part all the part a they're gonna require you to send what we call like an observation for the from the doctors at whatever clinic you're working at or you, you go shadowing at they have requirements of, I think, I believe 22 hours, I can't remember, 22 or 25, something like that. You have your doctor sign in that you, you know, do observe them. You send that along with your health uh, medical history because that day someone gonna, you know, inject on you. They want to make sure everybody is safe along with your CPR certification as well. So total is four things. First, par passing all the exams and the model include final exam. Second, send your CPR. Third, send your observation thing. And fourth, your medical history. So they have the emails in there who to send to. You send to that person. And then that person will say, okay, 
Now you can register for the part B within the live session and you can pick the day that do you want the one next to you or do you want the one that you know six months further so this is the cost of the course first part a is 175 part b 642.9 textbook 70 to 80 depends on where you get it and don't forget all of this traveling gas accommodations because it's quite far from me okay so the cost think about it some uh, college it's more expensive the reason I take this one because most of my hygienist friend took this cord and they said it's great one of them give a very amazing injection technique that's why I took it here and it says the teachers and everybody's there is there to help you it's both of my confidence but take in consideration because the cost can be cheaper than other courses but you have to think about the hotel you have to pay like mine it's four hour drive from my home so i have to actually stay first night before the day that i do the course and the night after because i couldn't make it you know it made my life easier that way so take that into consideration on the day once you arrive um, the class begin at eight so make sure that uh if you come in the morning if you're close it's fine if you're far away be be mindful that the traffic in this town it's it's no joke okay okay so here is all of the injection technique that you have to study and also do it to your friends at that time except those that i highlight in the yellow so all that what you have to study is the feel of nerve that will be blocked second it's you know the landmark the insertion how much you have to deposit at the site how much needles have to go in they will have a lecture first but um, at the end you should be remember all this so it can kind of come out of your spinal cord at a time because you will be kind of nervous so on the day when you arrive, it will feel a little bit awkward first because you don't know anybody. It will slowly, they, uh, the teacher will have everybody introduce themselves and then you can come in a pair. It depends if you have odd numbers, maybe in a group of three. My group, we have a group of three and we did well. So don't, don't be nervous, uh, things will come great eventually. So they will um, separate the first half of the morning, you do the lecture first. Once you do the lectures, it's going to be now you practice on your friends. So whoever you paired up, they're gonna have like a fake needle that have a little ball at the end. And you can practice where the penetration, uh, practice talking, how much you're gonna put it in, how much the needle gonna get it in, how many millimeters, how many mill millilit for, uh, the cartridge you're gonna go in and where's the feel of nerve block where it should be considered as complication that can happen after all those the teachers gonna give you a paper that have kind of everything in it so just remember those that's fine once you're done that part of the morning you're gonna have one hour break for lunch you come back again for lunch and now this is gonna be the test so they separate into three sections. First, infiltration, ASA, MSA, PSA. And then second part is gonna be the greater palatine and nasopalatine. For nasopalatine and infraorbital nerve block, you don't really have to inject on your friend. So you just kinda demonstrate with either cotton swab or the needle with the caps on to how you're gonna do it. Where would the feel be? Things like that. And then the third part is gonna be the IO nerve block and the long buckle with the mental incisive nerve block. Again, the teachers are there to help you. They're gonna teach you how to insert, how to make sure that everything is in a good place, how to rest your hand, how to put the needles in and out, aspirate, things like that. So 
don't be scared if they're there to help you in you will hear from your friends first or you're gonna do it second you're gonna do it first so everything is a good learning learning experience here so don't be scared after those are done is the time that they're gonna bring you back in the lecture room and teach you some consideration with patients that have specific medical condition like who we should be avoid using epinephrine which kind of medication we have to like looking out for and also the dosage recommendation for a person how to calculate all those after that you're done so it is not bad at all so just keep calm they're super kind and they will help you out good luck for all your journey and you can do it and if you have some spare time please like share or subscribe my channel thank you